Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. My name is Gary from worldstart.com. And I am Steve from the same place. Uh, today we are looking at the Windows calculator. I know what you're thinking. Oh, wow, boring old, old Windows calculator, but I'll tell you what. Now that we're in Windows 7, man, they have made some serious changes. You can do, you can calculate mortgages, there's a scientific calculator. It'll even calculate fuel economy for you. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's start out here by opening up the calculator. Um, if you go to start, you can either just type calculator in the search box, or you can, usually it's going to be right here on the start menu or uh, under all programs. Uh, just to show you here, we'll start out by typing calculator. And I'm just going to type calc, and you'll see it'll be the first thing that comes up here. Go ahead and open that up. Now this is the plain boring calculator that we're all used to seeing, and it works great for what it is, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other options. If you go to the view menu here, this is where you can start to see some of the options here. Now, uh, just from, for the basics, we can go to scientific, see that it switches to its scientific calculator. Go to programmer, which allows you to calculate things in hexadecimals and, and octets and things. And um, if you're into programming, then that's helpful. Uh, you can go to statistics, where it'll open up a, you know, a statistics, statistics calculator. Now, some of the cool ones that I really think that people will get a good use out of is if you go to worksheets here. Now uh, this is really cool. You can go to you can go to mortgage, for example, and this actually opens up the mortgage calculator. Now I have to switch my view back to standard, or otherwise it'll look funny. Um, this is great to have. You can calculate your monthly payments. Your you know you can set your your purchase price, the terms, the interest rate, you know, and then calculate everything. So let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Let's say I'm purchasing a house for a hundred thousand dollars. The terms we're going to switch that to. Uh, 30 years, put this on monthly payment so you can see what that looks like here. The down payment, let's say we're going to put down 10,000. And the interest rate, let's put the interest rate at 5%. And uh, go ahead and hit calculate. And there's my payment per month, $483 per month. Um, it's, it's a very simple thing to use and it has all kinds of options. So some other ones here on worksheets are uh, vehicle lease. You can also change it to uh, fuel economy, which is cool. You can just uh, calculate your miles per gallon. And then, of course, if you want to get back to it, just put it back to basic, and you're back to your calculator. See, Windows 7, they sure did uh, up the ante on the calculator, didn't they? Who knew it could do so much? <laughs> right. I know the first time I saw it, I looked at this tip, and I thought, wow, that's pretty amazing, you know, with all the things they can do with just a calculator. Well, anyway, uh, if you're uh, watching this video on YouTube or uh, you're seeing this on our website, we uh, recommend that you sign up for our computer tips newsletter. You can uh, just stop by www.worldstart.com and sign up right there. We send out a computer tips newsletter every day and uh, you can sign up for that there and, and get all these great tips in your email and even the videos. Um, if you have a question for us, you can go to www.worldstart.com slash ask and ask away. We'll be happy to answer your questions and uh, some of them even make it to these videos here. So thanks for stopping by.